An estimated one million people now from Ukraine escaping the war zone. Will some of those refugees somehow make it to North Texas? Nick Starling talked to a local refugee organization about what they're expecting. Families holding hands, carrying suitcases, lining up to escape Ukraine. I don't want to leave, but it's completely dangerous to stay here. Livelihoods ripped apart. It's the reality these Ukrainians are faced with. In Ukraine, it's like a hell. It's estimated more than 875,000 Ukrainians fled to other European countries. Here in North Texas, refugee organizations are prepared if they get the call to help resettle Ukrainians. We're still ready. We have capacity. We have the infrastructure. Um, we have the programming, the services, the staff, the community, all of the above to continue to assist um, and ramp up if we need to. Mark Hager is the area director for Refugee Services of Texas and says the organization has resettled a few dozen Ukrainian families since 2014, but doesn't know if or when families will seek refuge here. For, for Ukraine, I think we're, we're going to need to wait on and see um, if if we need to make any um, increases in our capacity in staffing or interpretation, right? If we need to, to search out Ukrainian interpreters to have more of those on staff. Hager says they'll know within a two-week time frame who is coming so they can prepare. Right, that gives us time to reserve an apartment, to assign the family to a case manager, um, you know, order furniture or get it donated. We've seen rallies across North Texas in support of Ukraine. Many of them are from the country. That matters, says Hager, when resettling to a new place because you can connect with others who know the country you're from. In Fort Worth, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News.